of the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay tuned. the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. One thing for sure is that our lives will never be the same. Praise the name of the Lord. There is something about the last night of every event. Seems like the expectation of people can reach to the heavens and receive and receive and receive. I came here with my heart full because I know that God will do wonders in this place tonight. I know that many of us have come and many of you truly responded to the invitation in the morning and several have come, some of you in ministry, some of you in business, some in politics and governance. Let me tell you something, you're before the God of heaven. I guarantee you he will surprise you beyond your imagination. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And like Apostle Goodhart shared and prophetically just blew the shofar. I truly believe that it's not, it's not a new season just for Rogic, but for those connected to this grace also. Because when he anoints Aaron, he also anoints his sons. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In one minute, just cry your expectation before your maker. Please don't be distracted. This is not the night to be casual. Be sensitive. Pray. Father, my heart is open. Pray. Pray. Ah. Fill my life till all they see is you alone. Glorify your name. Fill my life till all. Lift your hands and worship Him. Fill my life, say. things that I believe God will do tonight um, like Apostle Good has said listen to me please and I don't mean to be arrogant but you see impartation is real graces are transferable graces represent the platform for possibilities in this kingdom and it is never God's intention that single individuals remain with certain possibilities without the body experience in it. Are we together now? Yes. That it is possible that a man can come and have an encounter with a grace. 
a dimension you did not come with and you see the thing about graces is that they speak immediately if it is not on you it is not on you as simple as that and so i'm praying that tonight we will sustain the meekness and the discernment to recognize that this is more than a man this is more than logic this is a platform to really pour into someone for someone you came here you've been praying and fasting probably a pastor saying Lord give me the visitation that will take me to the next level for someone you're in politics and governance and you came by invitation let me give a kind counsel do not stand wondering if God will bless you do not stand wondering if God will lift you if god will heal you there are people here sick really sick trusting god for miracles and you know sometimes we can get used to pain we can get used to limitations and then we become like the israelites in the wilderness can god make a way this god we're talking about is a mighty god this god we're talking about was not voted into power there is no parliament that sustains the intelligence to vet and judge him we're talking about the monarch of the universe are we together just one prayer and then we'll be seated father my faith i reach out to you tonight that every grace every possibility that should be delivered to my life and my destiny i obtain by faith make it a cry in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Please be seated. Apostle Goodhart, sir, thank you. It's always my honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight I want to share a very simple but a deep spiritual secret and then we'll pray. In every generation, it seems as though God would usually find a handful of people and invest such dimension of his power, his grace. My God, there are, there are mighty angels in this place. There is such an activity of the Spirit such an activity of the spirit i'm going to teach but please just be sensitive don't just listen discern the bible says while peter yet spake these words it says the holy ghost fell fell on all day that heard him i believe that there are all kinds of impartations that will be happening whilst the word is coming some of them not even related to what i'm saying your hunger is just drawing from the throne dimensions of graces that must be captured in your experience hallelujah and so it seems as though even though we have people who call upon the name of the lord is as though he selects a few people and anoints them in unusual dimensions unusual dimensions and being a student of scripture and a student of history i began to find out what what exactly is responsible for this uncommon investment of the spirit upon certain individuals i wanted to know because i was interested in not only being used by god but being used to a degree that will be able to bring glory to the name of the lord and i found out that i met well-meaning people i met sincere people i met theologians i met bible scholars i met zealous people i met fasting giants prayer warriors but more, it, it seemed as though there was something god was looking for in man that most men do not have or do not live up to and so the body of christ respectfully speaking we've come up with several propositions as to what exactly god is looking for to invest his hand his grace his power 
upon an individual upon a family upon a ministry upon a territory i prayed and i cried and i said lord show these things because you desire them to be revealed to the body and through the ministry of the holy spirit through the privilege of uncommon mentorship and the election of grace i want to show you something tonight and i pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god that your eyes will be open to see and that when you find these truths and walk in it that your life will suddenly become a sign and a wonder not just that you receive not just that you pray for it i give you a guarantee as touching the name of the lord if you understand what i share with you in this church regardless i don't care what the situation is your life will become an unending and episodes upon episodes of wonders this is true you are not being taught cunningly devised fables this is a an altar that is most hallowed the truths that i teach you are not opinions it will be evil to gather an intelligent people like this and just communicate opinions these are truths that are backed up by the integrity of scripture it is true because you see we shouldn't finish such a powerful conference like this and then have us rejoice and celebrate and then maybe a few miracles and go back again as though you never met him you won't go back you can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me i won't go back can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence that i used to be a pastor struggling to preach struggling to teach praying for people they are not healed they are not blessed then i come for reha ic 2021 and then i return back on sunday and the same thing happens oh no no this is not the god of the bible even when evil spirits met him they didn't go back the same are we together it is impossible to meet the god of the bible moses saw a bush that was burning and would not be consumed he said i will turn aside to see this great sight and when god saw that he turned aside to see say moses take off your shoes for where thou standest is holy ground moses had an encounter with him and he sent him back to pharaoh not as the timid moses who ran away from egypt hallelujah why does god do wonders i think it's important i just state that quickly why is god interested in showing up in spectacular ways in the lives of individuals in the lives of people businesses you know people in government and all of that what is it about the supernatural what what does he seek what message does he seek to trans transmit when god heals the sick when god raises the dead when god moves in unusual dimensions what is he saying because we must sustain the intelligence to discern what wonders are for number one every time god moves this is what he's saying i love you the revelation of the love of god is powerful and the character of love is that there must be a demonstration to attest to the fact that that love is genuine john 3 and verse 16 the bible says for god so loved the world he didn't stop there he gave his one and only then now the first of we the begotten are we together now the bible says he gave his one and only begotten son to the end that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have this life that we call zoe the life of god is beyond everlasting it's not just everlasting it's not just eternal it's a quality of life 
God is love. So every time he shows up, listen, discern miracles, discern signs and wonders. When you discern it, you will look beyond the vessel that was used. There is a message every time God lifts, every time God heals, every time God blesses, every time God opens doors, every time God delivers, there is a definite message from the Father through his Son to creation. I love you. The Bible says, write this down. The love of God I'm trying to pull up a scripture. First John chapter 4, that's it. First John chapter 4 and verse 8. First John chapter 4 and verse 8. It says, he that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. This is a revelation I do not want you to forget. For God is love. And the character of love is that it sustains the ability to cast out fear. Perfect love, the Bible says, casts out fear. So because God is love... I expect that he will give. I expect that he will heal. I expect that he will deliver. Listen, the awareness of the love of God can drive doubts and fears away. Can God bless me? Is he interested in my rising? Or is he a selfish monarch who seeks to use me for his glory? You see, that idea of being used for his glory is true, but it's incomplete. There is always something in it for you. You see, the character of love is that it, there has to be a mutual benefit. So whilst it is true that we do not serve him for things, whilst it is true that we do not seek him for mundane things, there is something in the economy of God that insists that you must know what is in that equation for you. God did not keep silent as to what we stand to benefit and enjoy when we seek him he is very vocal not just about his love but the rewards that follow our loving him our trust in him hallelujah in leadership you and and this is a ministry that is so great so enlightened you have the privilege of having a visionary father and a leader in leadership one of the principles of leadership is that you you advocate and sell your vision by revealing to the people who follow you something in that vision that also resonates with their desires they must be able to find a place in your vision that was the mistake of joseph joseph came with a dream and there was nothing in that dream that was a blessing to his brothers he came and said, well, guys, I slept and this is what I saw. The sun, moon and 11 stars bowing. And the brother said, we will kill you. Now, you compare that with Nimrod Kush in Genesis 11. Goto, he said, come, let us, let us build a city whose top will reach the heavens. And he mobilized a vast army that even the devil could not resist. It took God himself. Are we together? So I'm saying that the character of love is that there is mutual benefit so when god comes and shows up in mighty ways to save to heal and to deliver is more than the miracle there is a message i'm saying this because in a few minutes we're going to be celebrating the spectacular hand of god once again there will be a convocation of his hand and his presence in this place and whilst you celebrate and whilst you rejoice whilst you cry and praise him remember there is a message the message is love a revelation of the love of god he said i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you god is not ashamed to declare his vulnerability in spite of the worship in heaven in spite of the glories of heaven he gets distracted by this object this 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 entity called man 
I can imagine him sitting on his throne and the four and twenty elders and all the worship happening in heaven. All of a sudden, he's no longer giving them his attention. And heaven is wondering, where is he? No wonder the psalmist said, what is man? What is this man? Can't you, can't you end this race of humanoid species and then build another one? What is a man? Read the Bible and see the love of God man would violate his ordinances and be given to their enemies and even in their depravity they would not call for help and his love his vulnerability would not allow him let man go through that thing he will raise a prophet to say okay man we can talk you come i will come i mean what a what what a vulnerable display of love listen it's a revelation that changed my life we live in a very evil time to find people who love you sincerely is hard so when you have a revelation that the monarch of the universe is in love with me wow i'm no longer a slave to fear i am a child of god when god loves you he does not give you things he gives you his heart that is the gift you get from a lover not things whoever loves you and just gives you things is cheating you true love is culminated when you get the heart because whoever owns that heart whoever has access to that heart has all things so tonight the first message why wonders the reply i love you i am desperate and vulnerable enough to come even though heaven is my throne but i will show up for as many times as you gather to let you know that i love you very powerful revelation the love of god John chapter 10 and verse 10, it says, The thief cometh not but for to steal. It says, To kill and to destroy. He said, I am come that ye may have life as proof of my love. And not just to have life, but to have it more abundantly. Tonight, anything that does not look like more abundant, you have a responsibility to fight it until your life looks like the Garden of Eden. A, a reflection of the beauty and the splendor are we together yeah he does wonders to reveal his love number two he does wonders to reveal his might and his power to men and to creation there's a weakness in men the weakness is that we forget this is not memory loss it's just that men forget so every once in a while god will step into the affairs of men and do something spectacular he will do something and write on it signed like you know how julius Berger will build you can always know well if you have a construction company plus your own too you know <laughs> i'm not just talking about julius Berger alone but just for an example you can know the blocks made from julius Berger because they will throw it up it won't break and then there is a little signature b don't be confused they made this so there is something god does in your life and then he signs a signature that the doer is god so there is no confusion because human beings have this this intelligent way of stealing through efforts that did not come from them and receiving glory for it and so god writes this breakthrough sign yahweh this is my signature this lifting sign Yahweh these open doors the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 now unto him who is able able not just willing there are men who are willing brothers and sisters look at me our world is full of people who are willing willing to help willing to bless they would tell you if I have the resources I would I won't spare to lift you thank god that our god does not just have the will he has the power el shaddai the multi-breasted one 
and so he shows up to remind men that he is almighty almighty the bible says in psalm 24 and verse 1 the earth is the lord's and its fullness thereof the resources number three the walls the systems and number four they that dwell therein four things the earth the resources the systems and the inhabitants they all belong to him this is the god of the universe the earth is the lord's no contention the earth is the lord's the bible says he upholds all things by the word of his power this is the god who will lift you this is the god who will heal you this is the god who will bring you listen so when you know this you you are you are given the allowance to vet him god is not afraid to allow men vet him check my antecedents he parted the red sea hebrews 11 archives this men who were used by god to walk wonders it says time will fail me to talk of gideon jephthah barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness shot the mouth of lions it says men whom the earth was not worthy of god is almighty god is almighty god is almighty he does not sit on his throne scratching his head wondering what to make out of our situations no he's called the ancient of days i believe him this is the god i serve so when i stand before a mountain it may be older than me but there is one older than it when i stand before a situation it may look bigger than me in the flesh but there is one bigger than it oh this is what david knew he stood before goliath and goliath said what disrespect israel is this what you will do to me am i a dog that you bring a little boy a teenager with a sling david said you come to me with your bows your spears but i come to you in a name haris calibra katosiata I come to you in the name. The might of God. It's a revelation I want you to hold for the rest of your life. Because situations and circumstances have a way of bullying men. They bring you to a point where you are perplexed. You are wondering, can anything good come out of my life? The almighty God. Savior. He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. The author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus. Sing it one more time. Savior. Savior. He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Forever the author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. The mighty God is called. Once upon a time, an arrogant king commanded that a gold statue 90 feet tall be built. And at the sound of the instruments of music, that everyone in the entire Babylon would bow to him. And some young boys came and said, Oh king, we love you, we respect you, we are taught to honor. But as touching the matter of might and superiority, we are sorry to tell you we will not bow. They were thrown into a furnace of fire all of a sudden they saw four men the likeness of the fourth the bible says was like the son of man and then the son of god and he says these were men who the fire had no power over hmm. the mighty god there's something about the might of God that needs to be reintroduced to us and be reintroduced to this generation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. My Jesus conquered the grave. 
sing it over every situation in your life he rose and conquered the grave over your finances he rose and conquered the grave savior savior he can move the mountains my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever on the Where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? Oh cancer, oh fibroid, oh blood condition. Do you not know that for every creature there is a creator? The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He was not in that heavens, he was not in that earth. Where was he? Ah, when Job at the height of his predicament Job 38 the Bible says he summoned God and God came in a whirlwind and said who is this man that darkened counsel without knowledge gird up thy loins as a, a man and I will demand of thee question one where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth this is the God that we serve declare if you have understanding you know, sometimes when the pride of the kings of the earth reach a particular threshold, God, whether invited or not, he will stand up and shake himself and remind them again that there is a king. Ah. He rose and conquered the grave. Ah! This, this revelation is doing something to me. He rose and conquered the grave. That's why you will be healed tonight. He rose and conquered the grave. So when a man tells you, over my dead body for you to rise, tell him be careful. That's a dangerous statement because you are about to die. You just numbered your days. He rose and conquered the grave. He rose and conquered the grave. We're talking of the mighty God here. Once upon a time, an arrogant woman embarrassed her husband, who is called King Ahasuerus, a king over 127 provinces being banished from the palace there was a vacancy and they began to call on all the young women and a young village girl called Hadassah from Shushan Mordecai her uncle said why don't you go and try paradventure with God the Bible says she came and joined all the city girls and was kept under the custody of Haggai the keeper of the king's concubines and Haggai gave her a suggestion. He said, I know this king. I know what he's looking for. I've worked with him a long time. Focus on this oil. Keep rubbing it on your body for one year. Allow the other women to do what they, whatever they have to do. The Bible says, Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, the B part. It says, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. What a grace. Then you go to verse 17. The Bible says, when the king loved Esther above all the women, Amen. she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins as a result he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti when God tells you I will lift you I want you to know that this is how God works he does not speak until he verifies that he has the ability to make it come to pass so if God ever makes a declaration he's vetted himself and found out that it is within his capacity to make that word come to pass let me tell you a few things he said about you that if you shall diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that he commands you this day there is a promise that he will exalt you above the nations of the earth and that these blessings will come upon you and overtake you is it in your bible 
number two that your path should be as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day do you believe that number three that when men say there is a casting down that's already an information that you are not a normal man because he didn't he said when men something about his presence in your life has translated you from a man to something else this is what i believe a display of his might in and through my life because if it is the lord's doing it must be marvelous it must be marvelous ah. you are marvelous yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. Sing it just one more time. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Let me prophesy to someone. I stand tonight in the name of Jesus. And by this grace, and I declare to you, what God will do in your life from tonight, it will be like a dream. I speak it over your life. I speak it over your family. I speak it over your business. In the name of Jesus. Please sit down. I believe in the might of God I believe in the power of God there are things that only God can do that God will so invest his grace upon your life and things will begin to come to you there is such a grace that was the grace that came upon Noah and his ark he didn't go to look for the animals there was something on him that made them come two by two seven by seven let me release that grace on your business on your ministry the grace that compels men to come from everywhere to acknowledge the workings of God in your life I stand by the God of heaven and I declare from tonight take that grace from tonight take that grace from tonight take that grace take that grace do wonders with that grace in the name of jesus christ please sit down the might of god we had the opportunity to visit very briefly after the morning service the facility that god is building for himself for this ministry and it was a wonder to behold there are things when you see you know this is god there are things when you see you know this is intellect there are things when you see you know this is just the wisdom that comes with time but there are things when you see you know that this is god the might of god number three why wonders why does god do wonders i will tell you because signs and wonders signs and wonders according to john chapter 4 and verse 48 miracles signs and wonders provoke men to believe not only that there is a god but to receive of this gift of salvation without the ministry of signs and wonders the global harvest will not be a reality we live in a world where people seek for signs they want to see the outstretched arm of god god does wonders so that there can be the end time harvest especially at this time it is his desire that all men be saved and everything he will have to do was it not the miracle listen was it not the miracle of the fish that made peter to say i am a sinner john 21 remember little children have you any catch said no he said cast your net to the right side and when they caught fish so much they had to beckon on their partners to help them and discerning it was jesus 
he came and he said depart from me there is something about the spectacular manifestation of the power and the grace of God that is able to bring men to their knees. They know that truly there is a savior. I thought all that rules the world is intellect. I thought all that rules the world are principles. But now I am forced to acknowledge that there is a God in heaven. Can I tell you this? God is still in the business of winning souls. God is still in the business of seeing to it that the nations come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Ask and I'll give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. As it rises on us, ask and I'll give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. I believe that we're stepping into seasons in the church age where nations will be saved in a day because of the dramatic demonstration of the power and the grace of God. Is it not written in your Bible that a nation can be born in one day? That it is possible to win more souls than all the crusades in a year in one moment. Charles, I think it was late Charles and Francis Hunter who said that one spectacular miracle is worth a thousand words you can talk to people and convince them jesus heals jesus saves jesus delivers and they look at you as an intelligent lecturer clap for you where necessary but when the power of god when jesus came to announce his messianic prophecy in luke chapter 4 he it was given to him the scroll of Isaiah the prophet and he began to read from from verse 15 downwards he said the spirit of the lord is upon me he said for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to set at liberty them that are bound to declare the acceptable year of the lord and he closed that book and said this day is this scripture fulfilled he would have gone to sit down no that's not the god of the bible woman with your withered hand he said stretch it forth when jesus showed up he turned that city upside down miracles upon miracles miracles upon miracles now there are people who downplay the miraculous simply because it's been exaggerated and exalted above the word the miraculous must never be ex exalted above doctrine and above the word however to push it aside is a joke now if i by the finger of god that have done this is an announcing that the kingdom has come to you i believe in miracles i see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere miracles everywhere right now many years ago apostle sir the lord performed i think that would be the first spectacular manifestation of the hand of God that I saw in my life and I would say through the ministry there was a gentleman who had his his spine now I'm not a doctor and they labeled the spine and this this gentleman had damaged the spine they were waiting to ship in some doctors from India to come and perform a very delicate surgery there at the teaching hospital in Zaria and then I had an opportunity to talk with this gentleman in the night by call then phones just people just started having access to phones and then I called him and I told him I said do you believe now 
looking back honestly i don't know if i believed it will happen or not sometimes it's good to not know what you are praying about just pray quietly because you if you are aware of the gravity of what you are praying about it may dampen your faith i prayed over that gentleman and i stand before god i lie not he may be somewhere in the world following this teaching today when i spoke over him i had a loud shout he had um this brace uh, they call it something that they hook they just hold the neck so it doesn't move and then this guy he found a way of losing it and began to shout with the phone on he ran to the mother's room and the last thing i heard before the phone was off was jesus and that was it you know how people come to greet when someone is bereaved that's what happened in their house the next day people came and said what in the world is going on who did this they said one gentleman like that who is he when i saw the x-ray myself and i saw the gentleman who had been healed i said only a fool will say in his heart there is no god listen we need a display of signs and wonders please hear me with all due respect if you're in ministry here contend for the grace this is a time when if you do not genuinely walk in signs and wonders be ready for empty pews people will not come for nothing there is a hunger that is driving men to experience the god of the bible in a way that is more than theory hallelujah do you know that's not even the story when this guy was healed all of a sudden i think over it would be over the next one month i got calls almost every day from doctors in the hospital apostle sincerely i'm struggling with something i learned a lesson people have problems but they must vet your ability to help them before they open up i was amazed at how many people just laugh whereas there are myriads of problems and i made up my mind that i did not want a powerless ministry god do not send me with only a sermon no he says i am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power not just the message the power the power i said lord as you send me from nation to nation grant me grace to follow the path of our fathers men and women who kept nations at a standstill one time i watched the the crusade of tl osborne and i was in tears spectacular manifestations of the power of god to the point that the, the government would come together i know there was a nation that despised him and before he went to be with the lord they came together as a nation and invited him to apologize publicly We need to return the reality of the power and the grace of God. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search through all eternity, Lord and find there, there is none there are many of us who have loved ones who have refused to give their lives to jesus you love them they love you back but they will not get born again do you know why there is something about your christian experience that has failed to capture superior dimensions of the power the grace and the glory of god do you know what made the jailer remember Paul and Silas when the jailer saw that spectacular manifestation he was about to kill himself and he said no 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 we are fine and that was the harvest the church the the betting of the church was a miracle it was a sign and a wonder the bible says now when the day of pentecost was fully come it says they were gathered together in one accord suddenly there was a sound always starts with that sound as of a mighty rushing wind then they saw what looked like cloven tongues as of fire it came and sat upon them are we together in one day three thousand people were saved 
it's my desire that the global harvest that is delaying the coming of christ oh yes he will not come until this gospel of the kingdom is preached as a witness to all creation then the end will come the end does not depend on him it depends on our mission that is scripture so we can look forward to and hasten the day of his coming to the degree to which we see the nation saved i pray that by this talk before we begin to pray that god will use this opportunity to plant a burden a burden for the nations a burden for the nations we're not going do you know the way our world now you can't even stop someone to preach because they can say you are a terrorist or something and arrest you and you will go to court that means there has to be an alternative system one-on-one -on -one evangelism right now the times that we live in is making it almost not possible you stand you're talking to someone and he says what are you telling my daughter you stand you're talking to someone you say ah no 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 last week that was how someone came in the name of jesus and robbed us go away so people will not listen here's the great commission he says go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every to all creation he told you the assignment go he told you what to do preach he told you who to preach to men and creation but he never told you how there has to be a display and an a display of signs wonders there's gonna be a great awakening it's a prophecy there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on jesus they will be saved when 10 dead people come back to life in one week and while that is happening 50 jobless people in one week receive supernatural jobs jobs that glorify jesus while that is happening you have 19 sets of triplets coming back to back these are the kinds of, don't, don't release your faith for I'm, I'm talking of superior things now let me see who will come and stand and watch that plethora of the manifestation of the power of god and say it was stage managed no they are called notable miracles are we together while that is happening you go to bed wondering where will my rent come from and you wake up with a text message come and meet me somewhere in abuja and the person said the lord said for the sake of the kingdom let me give this to you and he said please if it's a scam if you are joking if it's april fool just tell me he said no 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 i was led lord pour out your spirit on all the nations of the earth let your sons and daughters speak your words of prophecy show your mighty power reveal the secrets of your heart lord our faith is rising let creation see the coming of your name there's gonna be a great awakening there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on jesus they one miracle of a popular madman was equal to the salvation of 10 cities one miracle 
of a popular prostitute was equal to the salvation of several people is it in your bible yes sir as the time draws near more than our messages we must trust god for a reign of the spirit not just falling down and standing up that is for church a demonstration of the power of god it was our father of blessed memory archbishop benson idahosa who stood over a city and declared that a conference that to honor satan would not hold ah lord restore the days of power back to the church genuine power when moses stood before pharaoh he didn't talk for long he allowed the mantles to keep speaking we are talking too much is the reason why the world has no value and regard for the investment of god upon our lives again when our words become few and the signs become multiplied then the nations will come to their knees again and i know in the name of jesus that in our lifetime we'll see jesus exalted again that signs and wonders will be wrought in the name of his holy son to the end that souls be saved to the end that the harvest the harvest is wide do you know we have over i don't know how many people are on earth currently now i know it's getting close to eight billion i hope i'm right did you know that there are just about maybe about two million or a little over two million people professing christians i don't mean as a religion people who have had the opportunity to hear the gospel and to give their lives to jesus you calculate that if you were god will you come back no there is a big burden i know you want to receive but let's let's share the father's heart a bit this is more than just the issue of miracles and signs and wonders this is more than the issue of a man of god being powerful there is a hunger in the heart of the father it is his desire that all men be saved let me tell you god will pour out every dimension of grace we need to see that this global harvest is a reality there are people in this city who do not call upon the name of the lord they don't care they hate god and they are proud of it nothing has happened enough to compel them hmm. we have prayed we have spoken we have written books it's time to demonstrate the reality of the power the grace of god like many of you have received on this platform you will never forget reha i see do you know why you may forget what i'm teaching now but you can't forget what god did to you encounters come see a man that told me everything i have done This is why God is revealing himself as the God of wonders. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade baska na kata branda kete kato, kete branda kata pako tosko tobe kete kene kata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.